Good afternoon, I'm Specialist Guidey, and today we're going over how to locate an unknown point on a map and on the ground by resection. Conditions. If you're a member of a squad or team, conduct tactical operations and have a requirement to determine the squad or team's current location. You have a 1 in 50,000 scale map, a magnetic compass, a military protractor, a pencil, paper, and an item to use as a straight edge. There are at least two well-defined points on the ground that can be located on the map. Standard. Determine the grid coordinates of the unknown point within 100 meters and include the two-letter 100,000 meter square identifier using either the map and compass method or the straight edge method. Risk assessment. Overall low. This training is being conducted in a classroom. The fire exits are located directly behind me and one is located in front of me. The restrooms are to the left. In case of inclement weather, we will stay where we are. There are two map methods of resection, map and compass and straight edge. Resection is used when you need to figure out where you are and can see at least two terrain features or objects that appear on your map. The more objects you use, the greater the accuracy of your calculations. For the map and compass method, orient your map on a flat surface. To orient your map, place your compass at the edge of your map and rotate your map until facing north. Identify at least two well-defined points on the ground. The two features we will be using is a range tower and a building. Shoot your magnetic azimuth and mark these two well-defined points on the map. Plot the back azimuth on the points of the map. To compute a back azimuth, determine the magnetic azimuth from your location to one of the defined points. Convert the magnetic azimuth to a grid azimuth. To convert your magnetic azimuth to a grid azimuth, you must subtract the GM angle from the magnetic azimuth. Convert this grid azimuth to a back azimuth. To convert a back azimuth, if grid azimuth is less than 180, you add 180, and if it is greater than 180, you subtract 180. Now, place the index point of the protractor on the well-defined point. Make sure that the protractor is facing north. The zero has to be pointing towards the north. Place a tick mark on the top of the map. Now. Use your protractor to draw a straight line through the point. You'll do an exaggerated line all the way through the point. Now, repeat these exact steps for each well-defined point. The point where your lines cross is your current location. Determine the grid coordinates to this point to desired accuracy. For the straight edge and resection method, you will locate at least two known distant locations or prominent features, then plot those locations on the map, Once you plot those locations on the map, you will take your straight edge, place it through the point, and you will draw an exaggerated line through the point and all the way down. You will do the exact same steps for the other side. And once again, where the lines intersect, that is your position. Determine the grid location to the known point of desired accuracy. Now, soldiers will break into small groups and have a 20 minutes to perform this task. 20 minutes has elapsed. After observing the soldiers' maps and the overall group task proficiency, is at a peak, marginally trained. These results are recorded and a brief overview of the class has gone over again. Soldiers break back into groups and have another 20 minutes to plot their points. 20 minutes has elapsed. After observing the overall group task proficiency, we're a T, we're trained. Any soldier who did not meet the standard will report back in an hour for retraining and will be evaluated once again. Class scores will be reported to leadership and all equipment has been accounted for. Including my protractor,
compass, map markers, pencil, and paper, and my maps as well. And AAR will be done now. So what happened, what was supposed to happen, and how did it go? After this, we will close the site, report everything to leadership, and that is all.